in this video lecture, pag-uusapan natin kung ano yung mga roles ng isang IT auditor sa organization. Ano? At kung ano yung mga klase ng auditor. We will also be talking about the difference between the general controls and then the, IT, the application controls when we are talking of the IT environment. Kasi kung matatandaan ninyo, last time sa isa kong video lecture, ipinaliwanag ko sa inyo what an IT audit is and relating it dito sa ating phases of an audit. So meron ditong napahapyawan ano, review of general controls and application controls which is subsequently tested okay, for effectiveness. Now, ang difference lang kasi nito is that pag sinabi natin general controls, general, samantalang pag application control, specific. Well, when we are talking of application controls, these are more into the transactional aspect oh no, of an IT environment. Ito na yung mga transactional processing. Samantalang pagdating dito sa general controls, this more of governing the design, the security, the use of computer programs in general. So, dyan papasok yung design ng mga IT infrastructure. Okay ba ito? Ano, kapag meron tayong mga panibagong uh, use of computers, ano, use of programs, how will it affect the organization as a whole? Will it affect the day-to-day -day transactions? And if it will be affecting a lot of processes, how do we ensure that the design is okay? There are proper securities in place para hindi ito maging aberya sa organization as a whole. So, ito po yung ating general controls. Samantalang ano, pagdating sa application controls, specific ito doon sa mga computerized applications. So, transactional as we will be learning it later on, okay? Now, ito kasi yung mga magiging trabaho ng isang IT, audit, IT auditor because aside from reviewing it, ano, kung okay ba yung mga controls na ito, okay ba yung IT environment, there are policies ba that are in place at nasusunod ba ito, ano, maayos ba ang pamamalakad kung sino man yung in charge doon, nasusunod ba, effective ba ang control, wala ba itong mga design deficiency, effective ba yan, ano? And cost-wise, ito ba ay makabubuti para sa organization. So basically, dyan umiikot yung trabaho ng isang IT auditor. So, ayan, ano? General and application controls. Now, in terms of the role kasi ng isang IT auditor, pwede kasi siyang maging IT counselor. Okay? As a counselor or maybe as part of the senior management. O kaya naman, isang investigator. Ang isang IT auditor kasi, kasi dapat kung hindi man siya expert, ay bihasa, ano, knowledgeable siya in terms of the IT environment. Yung mga practices ba ay maayos. No? So kung ikaw ay isang IT auditor staff o part of the audit, IT audit team, normally kasi sa mga organization at lalong lalo na pag mga malalaking companies ito, meron silang separate na internal audit department. Okay? At ang IT auditor ay maaring maging part ng internal audit na yan. Okay? Usually naman kasi hindi ito, itong mga IT auditors, hindi ito yung mga IT personnel. Kasi there should be proper separation of duties. Okay? Baka kasi magkaroon ng mga issues, ano, uh, collusion at kung ano pa mang maging problema. So, ito ano, uh, as an IT auditor, he or she can provide advices, no? Uh, recommendations, suggestions para ma-improve yung mga practices in terms of the IT environment. Ano? It, lalong lalo na kung ang itong IT auditor na ito ay isang IT specialist, IT audit staff, ano, and nakikita niya through the testing that he or she is doing, nakikita niya na may mga lapses, so he can provide advices. He can provide recommendations. Okay? Samantalang, pag sinabi naman natin as part of management, o oh, ito yung mga nasa senior role. Okay? And usually, ito yung mga boss ng mga nasa staff level, nasa mga specialist level. Um, pag malaking company kasi ito, mas malaki yung team. Okay? Lalong-lalo na pag nag-mature through time, ano, at marami ng experience yung organization na yon at maganda 
ang naging development ng IT audit team or the internal audit team in general. Okay? So, maraming mga staff yung nagpa-perform ng mga audit functions including yung mga IT audit functions. Okay? So, the the work that they do, it can be summarized, you know, including mga recommendations, ano yung mga findings nila, and it will be relayed doon sa management. So that normally kasi, ang ating IT audit or yung audit team internal ano sa organization ay nagiging ano pro provider of recommendations so they are part of management in decision making ano and in making the necessary steps okay so they can be part of management samantala kasi kapag ikaw ay isang IT auditor na outside the organization Okay, maari kasi na investigator ka. O lalong-lalo na no, sa panahon natin ngayon, maraming mga computer hacks. So, especially if it affects the national security, okay, merong threat to security ano, may mga terrorist attacks or may mga malicious uh, softwares na pumapasok sa isang sophisticated na computer environment at makakaapekto ito doon sa organization sa pagpo-proseso, okay, ng mga functions or ng mga trabaho sa isang organization. So there could be employed a party outside of the organization which may investigate or may be part of a team of investigators ano. Sabihin na natin mga computer forensics, mga specialist ano that works hand in hand with sabihin na natin mga security, federal security ano or um kunwari dito sa Pilipinas working with the NBI ano. National Bureau of Investigation kapag may mga kailangan na i-check okay may mga kailangan investigate at involve yung computers ano doon sa crime na ginawa so they can be an investigator now in terms of the types of an auditor makaklasify natin sila into two yung isa internal samantalang yung isa naman ay external ang difference lang nito is are they part of the company or not if they are part of the company, pinapasahod sila ng kumpanya, edi eh internal sila. Okay? Kasi within the organization. So meron silang separate department o kaya naman reporting directly doon sa management, sa may-ari ng negosyo. Ano? So internal. Pag external, o oh, usually pwede natin dito may associate, yung mga external auditors. Ano? And dito maaring kasama na yung IT auditor kung may mga specialty. Ano? Uh, kay nakailangan kung lalong-lalo na kung malaki yung kliyente na hinahawakan nitong mga external audits uh, auditing firms so they can be internal to the organization or external so pag consultant ano may classify natin as external auditors okay or external parties now eto ano regardless kung internal ka man sa organization or external you have to follow a code of professional ethics Kasi kaya kailangan objective ka, independent ka, walang bias ano. So because the management will be relying on the report that you will be giving them later on after the findings ano, after the procedures na ginagawa mo. So dapat karep respect respeto ka at you have to follow some moral guides, ano, professional ethics. Okay? Kasi otherwise Kung wala kang itong ethics na ito, wala kang professionalism, wala kang moral compass, o paano ka papaniwalaan? Okay, so magkakaroon ng issue sa trust. Remember that as an audit, ano, as part of the work that they do or that we do, okay, kinakailangan na maasahan ka. Wala kang pinapanigan, wala kang party na tinatabihan ano, para maapektuhan yung ginagawa mo at yung report na ipo-provide mo later on. Okay? So, ayan ano, the code of professional ethics. Remember, we as certified public accountants at kayo ano na magiging future CPAs, once you pass the board and become a certified public accountant, you have to follow a uh, code of professional ethics and normally ano, eto sa lahat naman ng mga professions uh, meron din silang mga sinusundan ng mga professional ethics. Okay, so ito po ano, yung ating discussion for today. Now, if you have any questions, please let me know so that 
may clarify ko ito kung sakali man na medyo nalito ka ano or malit nakakalito yung pagkaka-explain ka okay so until then i'll see you around and bye bye